Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. And what I wanted to do today was <clears throat> kind of jump off the cabin series for a minute and talk to you about a product line that we're carrying currently at Self Reliance Outfitters of Exotac products. And I think that Exotac is a solid brand. We have just recently started carrying your products in the store, but I have been carrying three of their items for quite some time now. Um, one of them I've been carrying for well over a year and the others I've been carrying for one of them for several months and then the other one for just about a month. So I've tested them on and off, but the last one that I got, um, I've been testing it now for about a month, as I said, but I use it almost every single day. So what I wanted to do was talk to you about these three products, kind of go through them, and also talk to you a little bit specifically about the ExoTac lighter, because there seems to be some confusion or some problems that are coming along with people using this lighter that are used to using the Zippo type lighters. And it is a different animal altogether. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Stay with me. Okay, so the first product I wanna to talk to you about is this ExoTac lighter cover. Now, all of these items that I have are in black. We chose to carry orange on our website to begin with because I believe it's a good high contrasting color that you don't lose easily in the woods. And for someone buying this to put in their kit, I think that's a good idea. The black ones were sent to me as samples, so I've been using the black. But the products are exactly the same, just a different color. So the ExoTac lighter cover basically takes any Bic lighter and makes it waterproof by giving it a rubberized cover that goes over the top of it and friction fits so that it's waterproof. And I have tested this in a bucket of water and it is waterproof. Now, the other thing with this lighter that it allows you to do with this lighter cover is it has a split in the back of the cover here that actually can slide over the top of your button. My fingers are a little bit cold today. That actually will slide over the top of your lighter button to hold the fuel button down so that when you light the lighter, <laughs> it's about 10 degrees out here today, so my lighter's not even wanting to light. But when you light the lighter, one disadvantage to the Bic lighter, you gotta keep it warm. When you do this, it will hold the fuel button down so that if you don't wanna hold your finger on the button for a long period of time for flame, you have that advantage with that flip up keeper. I just put paracord on mine to keep the lid attached to the lighter so I don't lose it and I made it tight, so I pull it over and it's a friction fit, but I don't have anything dangling off of it in my pocket to get in the way. So that ExoTac lighter cover is the one I've been carrying the longest, and it doesn't really take up much more room than the Bic lighter does itself, but it helps to waterproof that Bic lighter, and I like that really, really well. Okay, the next product I wanna to talk to you about is called the Match Cap, and this is the Match Cap XL. I'm not sure if we're carrying the XL or the regular match cap on our website. The only difference is capacity. But basically it gives you a waterproof match container, just like a metal match container, but it has an O-ring seal and a striker that's built inside of it to be protected when it's sealed from the moisture. And it's made to fit the waterproof matches, the storm matches that are made by Yuko. So if you're already using Yuko brand products like these matches, you can use this ExoTac match cap to keep those matches in and your striker will then be on the inside protected instead of on the outside of the case like the plastic Yuko case has. Now the Yuko case has extra strikers on the inside that are tucked into the case, but you can also, I believe this one comes with a few extra strikers as well in the package that you can put inside here if you'd like to, but I haven't had any problems with this one and I've used it quite a few times. The advantage to these Yuko matches, these stormproof matches is, you just can't put them out. You can put them in water. I've done videos of it. Pull them out, they light back up. Put them in water, pull them out, they light back up. Bury them, pull them out, they light back up. So if you're looking to carry matches as an option for fire, and there are some advantages to matches for sure, especially for younger folks who can't necessarily manipulate a lighter with cold hands, or if it's cold outside and your lighter doesn't light, matches do have some advantages if you need fire right the second. And so I do recommend this product. It is waterproof, I have tested it. There's no question that it works and it's not a very expensive product for what you get. A lot of the metal match cases that you find today that are made overseas have some inherent problems with them. 
These products are made in the USA. Exotax is a great company and I like them and I trust their products. Okay, now let's talk about their latest product, the Titan Light. And this is a, for lack of a better description, a regular liquid fuel lighter, very similar to a Zippo, that has some advantages over the Zippo lighter. First off, it has an O-ring seal. And that is an advantage in that it will not let the fuel evaporate. But if you overfill this lighter, it can be a disadvantage. So let's talk about filling this lighter. Now, I've had this lighter for quite a, quite a while, um, about a month. And when I first got it, I overfilled it. And when you overfill it, you're going to have problems. So what I would recommend is you take that batting and just saturate it enough real quick. A couple, three milliliters is enough. If you take this cap and you filled this cap up twice and dumped it in there, that would be enough to get you started for sure. What will happen if you overfill this lighter is because you have a closed chamber with no release, the pressure will build up in here and push the excess fuel up to the top and you're gonna have leakage problems. And when you light the lighter, you're gonna end up with flame around the outside and probably on your hands if you're not careful. As long as you don't overfill it, you won't have that problem. So you've gotta be cognizant of that when you buy this lighter. It is a very, very good product in my opinion. I've been using this one for a month every single day and it works very, very well. You can see it's very, very wind resistant. The wind is blowing right now and it's not blowing it out. We don't have a 20 mile an hour wind, but there is some wind, okay? And no lighter is completely windproof that I've ever seen. Not a lighter like this anyway, even a Zippo. But this will take some wind and it won't get blown out as long as you've got fuel in it. You can blow it out by blowing directly on top of it, but wind coming from the side doesn't blow it out very easily. Now, again, if you overfill this lighter, you're going to have fluid leak into this upper chamber or this chimney area, and then it's going to spill out these vents when you open it up, and you're going to catch the outside of the lighter on fire and probably your fingers at the same time. So don't overfill the lighter. To change the flint, you just push in the detents on the side, and you'll be able to take the top chamber off and get to the spring in the flint, very similar to any other type lighter like this. It fluid, the fluid is filled from the bottom, just like I showed you to begin with. And again, you can use this cap as a measuring device. Two of these caps initially is enough in that batting to saturate it and make that lighter work. And you won't have problems with the fluid coming to the outside and all over your hands. You can see I just put more fluid in that lighter and it's not coming to the outside. Even if I shake the thing up and down, I'm not gonna get any fluid on the outside of that lighter. This lighter is very simple to use. You just have to understand what not to do. And what you don't wanna do is overfill this lighter. Other than that, what I can tell you is, that's the first fluid I've put in this lighter since the first day I filled it a month ago. And I use it every day. So it's very good at conserving fuel. I did have problems with this lighter leaking into the top because I failed to follow the directions on their website and filled it straight to the top of the batting like I would with a normal Zippo. The problem, the Zippo is not gonna give you that problem because the fuel can evaporate. If you overfill this lighter by accident, I would suggest taking the top off and leaving it sit for a while to let some of that fluid evaporate out. Then you should be able to alleviate the problem or just use it and live with it until it's not leaking anymore. And then don't overfill it the second time around. But you can see, I just filled it back up with some fluid and it's not leaking at all. In my opinion, this is a solid product and I wouldn't back it if I didn't think it was. Okay, guys, I just wanted to take a few minutes today to go over these three ExoTac products with you. Number one, because they're a new product on our website, but number two, and mainly because I have seen some people have problems with this ExoTac Titan Light from overfilling the lighter. 
I appreciate your views today. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.